Over the last 20 years, the console wars have been a rather stagnant place, with a three-horse race continually existing between Nintendo, Sony and Microsoft. Not much is released to change the status quo, but in 2018, a new competitor would enter the marketplace to try and take a piece of that sweet console pie all for himself. The newest challenger in the gaming industry was a surprising one, one of which most passionate gamers would have never seen coming. If you are remotely familiar with this debacle, I am of course referring to American rapper Soldier Boy, who released the hit track known as Crank That back in the rather uneventful year of 2007. To the man's credit, on the 17th of August 2010, he was listed as number 18 on the Forbes list of hip hop cash kings, earning himself $7 million in just that year alone. Whether or not you are a fan of his music or not, it is clear from this that, at times, he has had a lot of money to play with. So, as a self-proclaimed and passionate gamer, why not invest some of that money into launching game consoles of his very own? I am Lady Decade and this is the story of the ludicrous Soldier Boy game console scam. Back in December of 2018, rapper Soldier Boy would shock the world by announcing that he would be launching not one but two video game consoles, which he would soon reveal to be a home console and a handheld, which were fittingly named the Soldier Game Console and Soldier Game Handheld. While many were obviously sceptical of this ever becoming a reality, doubters would be proven wrong almost immediately, when products under both of these brand names would go up for sale on his official web store, SoldierWatch.com. The game console would be available for $199.99, whereas the handheld would be sold at a cheaper price of $149.99. On the surface, not bad prices at all for brand new systems. Over time, more and more of these style devices would surface on both this site and Soldier Boy's new website, which was made bespoke for selling these things, known as SoldierGame.com. But regarding the original pieces of hardware, let's discuss how they were received. A news site known as GameRevolution.com would instantly begin speaking very highly of the products. They would write, The Soldier Game Console is here, and it's way more than we could have hoped for. The newest venture by Chicago-born rapper Soldier Boy has been revealed, and it's not the only piece of new tech that you can buy today. Ever since the days of Dr. Dre, Rappers have been keen on adopting new business ventures to supplement the pittance they typically collect in royalties. While products like Beats by Dre make a lot of sense, Soldier Boy threw the gaming world for a curve by announcing that he would be releasing a video game console. As for the console itself, they would state, the Soldier Game Console boasts over 800 built-in games, the majority of which appear to be emulated titles. The box includes the console, a component connector for older televisions, an HDMI cable and a USB power cable. A pair of controllers similar in style to the DualShock 4 are also included with the package. As for the portable version, the Soldier Game handheld has 3,000 games built into the device. We weren't quite sure what to expect from the Soldier game console, but we now have most of the details. So, these consoles were apparently real, and we're receiving some glowing reports from some news sources, but things would quickly go south for Soldier Boy. Posters on Reddit would quickly note that the praise his so-called game consoles were getting from certain websites was completely ridiculous, as for starters, the systems were not unique to his website at all, and would transpire to be no more 
than Chinese emulation devices that had already been on the market for a long time. To make matters worse for the man who likes to uh, crank things, the Soldier Game Console, which was revealed to just be the Shenzhen Yang Liming Pro 4K console, was being sold at a markup far above the price it was for sale for everywhere else. So not only did Soldier Boy not have his own game consoles, but rather than buying the products from him at $150 and $200 a pop, instead you could buy exactly the same hardware on AliExpress for $32 and $35 instead. Soldier Boy had taken his audience and the gaming public for complete fools. Despite this all seemingly being a scam or dishonest practice, at the very least this did not stop Soldier Boy from bragging on social media about all of the apparent money he had made so far from the highly dubious endeavour. Shortly after the hardware's so-called launch, he would tweet that he had already managed to pocket for himself over 250 thousand dollars in just the first 24 hours alone and uh, thanked buyers for their support. In another amusing social media post he promised to continue his uh, tech company and evolve it in the gaming world, going so far as to claim to be just a kid with a dream. Yeah all right a kid with a dream. A kid with a dream if your name was Eric Cartman. In terms of the hardware controversy, this was only the tip of the iceberg though, as big questions began to be asked regarding the games that could be found on the Chinese systems, as between 803,000 games would be promised with no actual specification with regards to which games they were. Those who had access to the devices were quickly able to verify which games were preloaded onto the systems and it quickly became clear that it was highly doubtful that Soldier Boy would have been able to acquire the right to have such games on the hardware. For starters, the Soldier game devices were full of old school Nintendo games, but with Nintendo being as protectionist as they are about their IPs, people would begin noting to Soldier Boy on social media that they doubted that Nintendo was going to be happy with him. Soldier Boy being Soldier Boy though, rather than responding cautiously to the matter, instead would fierily respond to the backlash, claiming that he is not scared of Nintendo and has no fears of their legal department, as according to him at least, Nintendo ain't gone do sh I don't often like the term fake gamer, but does this guy seriously know anything about gaming? To continue to dig his hole, not only would Soldier Boy continue to go to Nintendo and openly brag about selling their pirated software, but he would also make the point of claiming to social media that he had already sold 5 million units that were all full of these games. Cringe. While claiming he was not scared of Nintendo hilariously, his aggressive tweets would unsurprisingly disappear. But in a more amusing turn of events, his dubious game consoles would disappear from SoldierWatch.com too. This obviously led to speculation that Nintendo's legal department had come for the profit made from those 5 million units he had claimed to have sold that were chock full of their games, with once again social media soon giving us a little more information on the situation. He would rather uncryptically write, had to boss up, I didn't have a choice, indicating that either a lawsuit was brewing or a cease and desist, at the very least. To make it even easier for onlookers to decode what was going on during this time, in a further amusing twist, if browsers attempted to visit the Soldier Game website, you would instead be redirected to Nintendo's own 3DS store instead, 
It seemed that Nintendo had well and truly humiliated the obnoxious rapper. You would think that after such a humiliating defeat that things would conclude here, right? But no, that would require Soldier Boy to actually be sane. After his various setbacks, he would rise like a discarded dog end from a cigarette tray's ashes and would begin to promote yet more so-called soldier game consoles, with one of these Chinese systems being a handheld device that looks like a PlayStation Vita. The next one was designed to look like the Xbox One X, with the rapper going as far as to claim that he was building this one from scratch, and it would feature a new design, new games and new deals. So he would rally his fans to make history. But looking at all the photos of the device, many documented that it was yet another Chinese emulation box. How silly does he think we are? As this ludicrous business endeavour continued, more dodgy hardware would surface, such as the Soldier Boy TRDR, Chinese hardware in a similar form factor to an original Game Boy. Review Tech USA, who had covered the drama throughout the entire Soldier Boy game fiasco, managed to get hold of one of these to review. Rich from Review Tech would note that Soldier Boy would pop up within one of his live streams and donate him a whopping $400. However, this did not deter Rich from giving his honest thoughts. Rich noted that Soldier Boy was charging $300 for a device that is available for $70 from other sources, and notes it is certainly not a console or a device like Soldier Boy and his PR team try to insinuate that it is, with their insane claims that they are going up against Nintendo, Sony, and Microsoft. He concluded that it is actually a pal Kiddie A19 emulation handheld, with no more than a different logo slapped on it and being sold at a marked up price. What a complete joke! Obviously, there would be a range of influencers out there who would voice their displeasure with regards to the overall quality of the product, and amongst these would be YouTuber Sunpie. Sunpie notes that she got her review device from Soldier Boy himself for review purposes for free. Within her upload, she gives her honest, unfiltered thoughts on the product that Soldier Boy had put his name to, and overall, she certainly doesn't take any prisoners, essentially revealing that it is an awful piece of kit, considering it's for sale at $300. While in most instances, you would think that this story would end here. Obviously, this is no normal story, so Soldier Boy would lash back in a childish attempt to affect her credibility. He would resort to quote tweeting her video post, stating, and I quote, I didn't send you shit, bitch, stop capping, with a laughing face emoji. Despite Soldier Boy attempting to humiliate this UK based creator and referring to her as a bitch, she later published a follow up video providing proof that Soldier Boy and his PR team sent her the handheld ahead of release. Why is this man such a complete loser? Over the course of years that Soldier Boy was attempting to shift these consoles, many noticed that he struggled to take any criticism, with him often accusing the public and users on social media of simply trying to kill his dream, with him often allegedly using sexist and other slurs against many of the people he viewed as detractors. In perhaps the final twist in this already completely insane tale, perhaps the funniest incident involving Soldier Boy within the game industry was yet to come. In 2021, Soldier Boy via his Instagram would announce that he had become the new owner of Atari. Hmm. Seems legit. In this questionable upload, he would state, they signed me to a deal at Atari. 
Big shout out to Atari, the whole staff. I'm about to revamp the company. We going to take Atari to the next level. I am now the owner of Atari. I own the video game company Atari. They was real proud of me and what I did with the Soldier Boy game console. You know what I'm saying. I blew Soldier Boy game up. We about to sell the company for like, what was it? 100, I think I'm gonna get 140 million dollars. I'm finally getting 140 million dollars from a Soldier Boy game. So, Atari reached out and I just signed a deal with Atari. I signed two deals with Atari. I'm the owner, the first rapper to own a video game company. We gonna take it to the next level, just like we did with Soldier Boy game. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, ha I had to read it like that because I, I just couldn't stop laughing. Well anyway, this claim seems ridiculous to most and unlikely to be true, however nobody would have to wait long to learn that Soldier Boy was spreading misinformation yet again. Atari themselves would tweet in response to the situation, We know that CEO of Atari is a dream job, but that honour belongs to Wade Rosen. So what was going on here? Was this Soldier Boy's most blatant lie yet? With Soldier Boy's announcement swiftly being debunked, Soldier Boy would do what he does best and head over to social media to make a rebuttal, this time taking aim at Atari. In his next Instagram live post, he would be seen visibly worked up, angrily showing his so called Atari contract to his audience. He would screech, F this contract. F Atari, don't call me no more, don't attach my name to your name. Those curious to learn more would freeze frame the video so that they could read the so-called contract. The document would outline that Atari had not sold him the company, but was merely offering millions of Atari tokens to him. Atari tokens are of course yet another decentralised cryptocurrency based on the Ethereum blockchain. To put it simply, it seems that due to this man's no limitations of complete idiocy, he mistook their offer of a market partnership involving cryptocurrency as an offer to become their acting CEO. I mean, honestly, where was this fella's agent? Because he clearly needs someone to do the thinking for him. Soldier Boy, the same man who claimed in the past that he is one of the most influential men in rap history, has certainly had an interesting journey within the world of gaming, with him bouncing from one bit of internet drama to the next. From the Soldier Boy game console scam to his losing battle with Nintendo, his spat with Atari and more, he has definitely made an impact in the medium within just a couple of years. Hopefully we get to laugh at more ridiculousness from him in the future, as Soldier Boy certainly seems like the gift that just keeps on giving. So, who knows what's next for the self-proclaimed young gaming entrepreneur. Soldier Boy Muggins. Soldier Boy, he didn't, oh, make his own game console. He just got a Chinese one, Nintendo Superman, that, oh, I, huh? <laughs> oh, God, so, I am Lady Decade, and that was the ludicrous story of the Soldier Boy console scam. So instead of my usual spiel at the end of my videos, today is story time. So many moons ago when myself and Top Hats were quite young, we used to go to things called nightclubs. And in a particular nightclub called Root, which isn't there anymore, in Colchester, in Essex, um, there was, and this was years ago, this was like not long after the whole soldier boy tell him, oh, blah, 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 thing. Okay, so yes. We paid a ludicrous amount of money to go to this Soldier Boy night. 
Because, it, I mean, from my point of view, I thought it was absolutely brilliant that this really well-known, proper, real American rapper was coming to our local town. It was just totally bizarre to me and I really wanted to go. So I made Top Hat go with me. We had some friends, we had some family. We all went up there, but yes, the point is it was really expensive and it was marketed on the basis that he was going to be performing all night. And we got there and waited and basically it got to about something like it was either midnight or one in the morning and he came out and performed Soldier Boy Tell Em and that was it. He was off. So we paid all this money and come on for three minutes. Now, honestly, we had to leave. It got dangerous in there. People were so angry. A full on brawl started in that nightclub. I honestly, I've never seen anything like it and I hope to never see anything like that again. It was horrendous. I've never seen so many drunk people really angry. And you have to remember, if you know England well, Colchester is um, a squaddy town. So that's where like the paras are all in Colchester. So, and there was a lot of paras in there that night. It is not safe to be in an environment like that. We had to leave, it was dangerous. And that was all because essentially another Soldier Boy scam. So there you have it. If you enjoyed this video, then please like, subscribe, comment, share, um, and and also shout out to my friend Sun Pie. If you if you are not already familiar with her, give her channel a quick quick check over. I think you'll probably really enjoy it. So I shall see you all in the next video and a big shout out to my patrons. Thank you very much. See you next time.